You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hinton versus Waddell and Waddell. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Hinton, you say that a brief affair with the defendant's now deceased mother resulted in their birth. You say you lost touch with the children after a tragic accident and have spent the last 25 years trying to find them and prove you are their father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Waddell, you and your twin brother say Mr. Hendon is a stranger who popped up out of nowhere claiming he's your father. You say you've always known that Mr. Walls is your dad and you want Mr. Hinton to move on with his life. Is that correct? Yes, Your yes, Honor. Sir. All right, Mr. Hinton, I'll start with you. Why do you believe these are your children? Um, I was in Columbus, Ohio at a flea market. Um, somebody came up and tapped me on the back of my shoulder. I turned around and looked. I didn't recognize her at first. Then she looked at me like, this is Tanya. And then it kind of, it clicked for me right then and there. So we, we did our pleasantries and we hugged. So I said, well, why don't you come over tonight and uh, uh, we'll do some talking. So I came over that night and I talked to her. Um, as, uh, at the time, we was talking, there was kids running around the living room. I mean, just running around, just running around like kids do. And so there was two kids, basically, a boy and a girl. Um, and one time, they both stopped at the same time and looked at me, okay? And next thing you know, the boy just took off because he was just, he was in his own element doing what he was doing. But the daughter, she ran and jumped in my arms. And I said, well, she don't want to, she don't want to never leave me. Then her mother told her, well, she probably know that you are her father. What? <clears throat> He's and not I... my father. And that little girl was Ms. Waddell. Yes. Marilyn. Yes. He's not my father, Your Honor. So, Ms. Waddell, you disagree. I totally disagree. I literally only heard of this man three years ago when he messaged me through Facebook and claimed to be my father. So... You don't I... remember that encounter? Not at all. Not at all. She was, only, she was only about two there, so she wouldn't even remember. The only thing that I remember is I do remember when I was a little girl and my mom let me go with a man who I called Mark. I didn't even call him dad. I didn't call him Manny. His name was Mark. He just took an interest in me and my mother just let me go with him. We would like just go to get ice cream. We'd go to the park or, you know, then he, like, he would just bring me back. And I just remember one day that he just literally came and was like, no, this is the last time I'm going to see you. Um, I'm moving away, and I never saw him anymore. And that was probably about a year or so before my mother passed. So you met a man named Mark. And it wasn't, like, a long time that I was even seeing him. It wasn't, like, it... When I say a long time, like, years that I was... that this man was involved with me, this Mark man. That's not true, Your Honor, because... The fact of the matter is, once she told me right then and there, I took the responsibility, this is my child, okay? Now, mind you, I have to tell you a little element that at the time, she did not tell me that Marshawn and, and Marilyn were twins. Wow. So, I did not know this. Why would she not tell you that, I don't know. that we Even were twins? Day, that makes I no don't sense. know. They weren't identical twins, so it just didn't click to me, okay? So, wait. You claim you were there and you took responsibility after the mother said you the father. Yes. But Ms. Waddell testified that she got picked up and spent time with a man named Mark. All right. Your name is Emmanuel. Right. Well, I can tell you the, I tell you the reason why I'm behind that. And it's, it sounds kind of weird, but trust me, let me walk you through this. At the time in Columbus, at the time in Columbus, Ohio, I don't know what it was. It was a big boom. There's a lot of males that were named Emmanuel. I knew six people named Emmanuel myself. So I didn't want these people to keep everybody in the whole city keep interfering with me and thinking I'm this Emmanuel and I'm this Emmanuel. Mark is my that middle name. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, Mark you won't change name. your whole name just you. because there's... Wait a, a minute. <laughs> so you're testifying <laughs> that you are Mark? My name is Emmanuel Mark Hinton. Oh. Here, here, Jerome, let me her. see that ID. I went but by my even, middle name in there and, and okay, because I so just didn't want the confusion. Even if you went her. by Mark and even if you went by that and, and my mother ID told says you... says Emmanuel M. M. Hinton. No. Emmanuel Mark Hinton, yes. Hold on. Let me go into the file because this right here 
Even if my mother told you that you were my father, when I was spending those weekends with you, why didn't I call you dad? Why was it Mark? You did call me dad. No, I didn't. Yes, never did. call, I've but never like called said, no one dad years, in my you life. Two no, years I haven't. Going in the three. You okay, told me. All you right, let's get some like order because in my court records, I just pulled up Ohio Public Records in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, I do see you listed here as Emmanuel Mark Hinton, and you also go by Mark Hinton. Yes. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you are that Mark. Yes, I am. Mm. Mm. Always have been. And you're shaking it's your head, Ms. Waddell. You don't believe that's the mark you were hanging out with? No, Your Honor. As I was, like, I was, I was like, my family has always told me that, um, I always heard Raynard. I've never, I've never heard mm -hmm. Emmanuel Amen. I've always heard Raynard. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't meet Raynard until I was 25. So, that, yeah. so all together, I was like, who is this Raynard? I, I, I've never heard, I've never heard Emmanuel, I've never heard Emmanuel, I've never heard how to, you know, until I just got older. Since you know? I was about 16 years old, my family members have always told me that, um, Mr. Walls over here is my father. You've always been told Mr. Walls is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. But you do admit you were allowed to spend time with a gentleman named Mark. Yes, Your Honor. And it was just me. It wasn't... It, my twin brother wasn't there with us. It was just me. But you testified, Mr. Hinton, you never knew they were twins. I never knew they was twins until shortly before the accident of her, her mother had gotten into a really bad car accident. Prior to that, that's when no. I was over there to pick her up one weekend, and I brought her back on Sundays like I normally do. Me and her mother sat down and talked, and then, because I kept asking her, I said, why do she keep saying twin? She said, twin this, twin this. And I said, because they don't look alike, whatever case may be. So she said, well, Marsha is her twin, which is also your, your child also. So right then and there, I let her have it. Why didn't you tell me this then? Okay? Because here's, a, here's the thing about it is, is that something happened prior to all this. Marshawn, Marshawn was no longer in the household, but I let her have it because now you tell me I have a daughter and I also now I have twins. We're 33 years old. Right, but... Like, so if you are our father, why would you wait why, all why of this time? This like, why somebody? would you wait all of this time? Right. We have, we, I'm, me I... and my twin, we grew up in foster care and we were even separated. We were separated at nine years old. Where did you go? I don't understand after 33 years why you just come in all of a sudden and, you know, you find me on Facebook, you say you couldn't, you were looking for me all this time. I've been in the same place. Mr. Come... Hinton, can you answer Ms. Waddell's question? You see the tears in her eyes. You see the pain. These two young people been through a lot. If you are Mark, why didn't you find them? after their mother's passing? What, what happened? Uh, this is the thing is, is I remember I was there at the hospital the night before she died. And she just started crying, crying uncontrollably, uncontrollably. And I sat down right next to her and I told her, I would take care of them. Don't worry about it. Because everybody, we knew that she was dying. Well, you didn't we take knew care she was of dying. Them, so why, why would you even make that, that Okay, type of wait, so you have this moment, this profound moment with this woman before her passing. Yes. And you say, I will take care of them. I will take care of them. I was going to find him but some way or somehow. But you know so what happened? The night, the, the, uh, the wake of her mother's funeral, I was there that night, okay? I had Marilyn with me already during that day. We wound up going there to the, to the wake Together. That's a lie. I was at, I, uh, no, I, was, I, was at the I was not too. with you. I remember exactly yes, who I was with. I was yes, not with was. you. But anyway, no, like I I'm saying, Your Honor, is that I didn't have myself together. So I went to the family member who had custody of them. I said, Look, I'm going to Cincinnati. I got a job offer. Give me six months. I'm coming back to get her. And Point he never blank. came back. Now here's he the never, thing. He claims that he was there. That he was. That he was there at my mother's death. But that makes me very upset. Extremely upset. So I feel like. If you were there when my mother died at the hospital on her deathbed and she told you she wanted you to take care of us, take care of me, whatever, where did you go? Why would you just leave us there? Why did we well, have, have to grow up the way that we did? That makes no sense yeah. to me. There is literally... He wasn't there. There is literally no excuse that he can give me on why he wasn't there, especially when he, he keeps insinuating that he was there when, when my mother mm. passed. 
You, you, were, at the he was at the hospital, you were at the funeral. He wasn't there. And then suddenly you just disappeared. You weren't there anymore. This is what happened. Like I said, I asked the guardian, give me six months, I'm gonna come back and get her. It took me, it took me seven months to get myself together. Okay. I came back up on the weekend to come to get her. And I told her point blank to the guardian, I said, I'm here to get Marilyn. She told me, you're not gonna get her. I don't trust you, I don't know you. You're not yeah, going to go if with him. If we're twins, I was I, with at Maryland. this point, he knows like, that we're twins, like, right? My foster so family he... bought me there. I had a foster family that, that, that bought me there. But you so wasn't I mean, there when I came up to get her. If we're he twins, yeah, why yeah. didn't he we just both... get... Why didn't he come back to get both of us seven months later? Seven months later. Yeah, why would you just say, I'm coming back to get Marilyn? Because he was not there. Okay. I was there. I'm not going to take <laughs> one and not take the other. I, I'm a single mother. I, I struggle, but I'm not just going to leave him or just put him in foster care, let him go over, you know, A, B, C house just because I can't take him. We gonna struggle together. You're breaking the cycle. Right. Yes, I'm totally breaking the cycle. And, so. and... But there wasn't a cycle there, Yana. Well, well, well this... Cycle. Because here's... It well, Mr. Hinton... Hinton I tried. Hold on. There may not have been a cycle for you, but you must acknowledge that these young people have been through. I agree. I acknowledge that as all. But what we would not want any child to have to go through. They, they were separated. Right. and separated from their family. Now, with that said, I want to understand your testimony clearly. It is not that you didn't come back. When you came back, you say the person who had guardianship over them said to you, I don't know you, I don't trust you, this wasn't written anywhere, you not on the birth certificate, you can't take them. She told me, you need to leave my yard, get out my, get out my space, I'm going to call the cops. I went to family services and told them exactly, this is what the plan that we had had. I am the father. She told, the, the, her caseworker told me, it said that this lady had called us to say that this man in Cincinnati claiming to be their father, saying they're going to come back and get him. I don't, I'm not giving it to him. So, children's services took the kids out of the home for whatever reasons that was, it was happening, but they were all gone. Okay, so now, where is my child? I, I need to know where my child is. Okay, so I decided that I'll go back to Cincinnati. I hired a private detective. What did that investigator come up with? What intel did you get from that? Well, that private investigator came back. Uh, she had been moving around quite a bit, uh, to a point to where somewhere on the East Coast, she went somewhere. Um, That's a lie. Uh, That's a lie. Even somewhere down south, I think Texas or something like that, somewhere down in there, and a couple I other places. I told you that I moved to Texas. Well, I, I told knew, you I was there for I one knew year. That you your told investigator me that. didn't know that. I was only there for a year. I already, so I knew. Before you told me that, time, I already knew this I, stuff. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You didn't. But anyway, I tried. I tried. So once there. you hired the private investigator and you didn't come up with anything, you just left it alone. I mean, after. I'm talking about almost $15,000. After that, I gave up the uh, private investigator because, like I said, I just couldn't keep affording to do that. Some years went by, and it's like, I, I'm, in, I'm despondent because they are my heart. They are who I am. They're, they are, they are, they're my legacy. Well, your heart, you know? Right? They're my you legacy. You popped up three years ago. It doesn't matter. I popped nowhere. up three years ago or out three minutes nowhere. ago. It that, does matter. Mine. Yes, it does matter. But I've always been it there. It matters. I've always been there. He just said that he had a private investigator or whatever. We were literally in the same city the whole time. If they were, the I didn't time. know. There's no reason and why we, you should not be able to find us. No reason. But if, how and am I if, supposed if to know this? Not, you were not, if you were not on our birth certificate, whatever, mm. whatever, if we were, went to the foster care, when you went to children services to try to get to whatever, and you say that you're our father, they would have easily given you a DNA test. It's not like they want us. It's not like they, like, hoarding us, like, kids or whatever. Miss Waddell, I have to stop you there because I know you are speaking from a place of intense pain, but this is a very important legal lesson that we often have to explain in this courtroom. That when you are a man and you are not on the birth certificate for a child, you have absolutely no legal right. None. But could he just no. go and say... No. I wish it was that simple. I really do. We were even on TV at one point, me and my twin brother. We were up for adoption. It was something that was called Wednesday's Child. I remember and that. And they featured that every week. And we were on there multiple times. Like, boom, there you go. If we're up for adoption. You could easily... Let, I want to adopt me, these let kids. Let me explain something. I completely understand why you feel the way you feel. I do. 
But I do completely understand how he could have not seen you on TV. You don't know. He may have even worked during the time where they aired that particular second. You just don't know. But what is so tragic and so sad and I, I just feel so much here is it was like you all were just on parallel paths that wouldn't intersect.